And welcome back to the official C. Um, real quick, yes, I know Graham is technically misspelled. Um, it was funny because when I got, I, I wanted to check the spelling. Apparently, when we were typing it out, I misspelled it by accident and thought it was kind of cool. So yes, it, it we know it was, in, it was we in, know it's misspelled. It was intentionally misspelled. Just to be clear on this point. Yeah, it was intentionally misspelled. Um, and then Icon was asking me why I'm bothering to record this fight again, and I thought, eh, why not? So. <laughs> it's funny because someone already gave up once, and uh, we're now just now getting taken into the ring. Yeah! Woo, we're awesome! We're gonna win this time! We're not gonna act silly this time, we're gonna be serious. Serious time. Alright, Shari, you're going down. Serious time. <laughs> All right, that's how it's done. All righty, so now we just need to not lose again. Serious time. Whoa, that was a. I mean, Rope has like totally KO'd that guy. Yeah, he wouldn't even fight us. It's time for serious time. <laughs> All right, Alamon, I am not going to give you a chance to attack me because you scare me. It is serious. Oh, crud! Time. That doesn't help. I'm surprised he hasn't managed to dodge us in the fights yet. Uh, thanks. <laughs> You're very welcome. Oh, I hate you! <laughs> oh! I can't believe I got that. I can. You had a one in three. <sighs> he didn't even manage to land a hit on you. I know. I wasn't giving him a chance. For Ripper, he's not doing very well. I wonder why. Maybe his stats aren't as quite as pumped up as they need to be. Probably. I mean, Rippers are all about speed. Speed, yeah. yeah speed, and then after that, you just kind of pump up accuracy and power. And yeah, I've also seen people do really well with intelligence-based Rippers, even. Really? It's, it's just, they have so much speed and accuracy, it doesn't really matter which direction you go with them. But I prefer the power types, but I have seen success... I've seen lots of successful... Um, Intelligence-based ones. That's okay. He's not gonna hurt us much. Or sixty-eight. Geez. Well, that was a critical. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I would have gotten it wrong anyway. Okay, dude. Enough. Yeah, I tried to hit me now. Yeah. I don't need to try, dude. Ha. I thought I had a pattern. I don't think so. Alright. Making our way. It was a much longer fight the second time with that guy. I think I just kicked him. I think I just kicked him twice last time and it killed him. Yeah, you had like two or three fights in a row. Kick, kick, done. Kick, kick, done. Okay, so now we're, we're back to Dodongo again. So this is a much better... I mean, we still have to win either way, but... But now it's serious time. Rody's cheering us on. But seriously. With his mighty yawn. <laughs> cheering us on with his mighty yawn. <laughs> he just looks at me and yawns real big. Okay, um... I don't know what to do, because the problem is, obviously he has a chance of hitting us. A very, very low to none, but he still apparently does, so... He never even tried to counter us last time, I would just keep going for him. Okay. I'm gonna use square. Uh, maybe not. He's guarding now. Yeah, he only had 14% chance. Okay, I I'm thinking of using square one more time because of the chain should give us enough damage to possibly take him out. But the problem is that's high risk. Oh, and I missed anyway, so okay, I'm not doing square again. Trying to get to Golem drop, because there's a much lower chance of him hitting me there. And hurting himself, yeah. Heh, <laughs> try to hit me now. Careful. He said that last time. I'm I'm the pudding. Oh no. That could have been a lot worse. 
I could have, but now I don't know what to do. Now you just need uh, to land another one, one of those, and he'll take me out. Yeah, but with what would you suggest I use? Square. You want me to use square again? Why not? Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh yes! yes it finally got first time. Okay, he won't let me back up, so I'm just gonna slash the crud out of him. I'm just gonna stay on the control. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome! That was silly. I can't believe we pulled that one out. Oh my gosh. The victory of this incredible battle is Puddin! Ding! Congratulations! It's about time a final guts went our way. Oh my gosh, finally! Yeah! I was just looking I at can't believe He had like a 3% chance most of that round, he still hit us. Oh, we got cake. A good amount of winnings, too. Yeah, we got 10 fame for that. Yeah, I was just looking at that, I was like, are you kidding? Are we going to have to start this recording over again? Again. <laughs> again. It's not, it would not be again, again. It would just be again, like just one time. Because like we've, this is only the second time we've recorded this total. Yeah. Including the Thank failed one from the end of the last time. I got mm -hmm. Congratulations on your victory. Nice fighting. Yeah, that was an awesome fight. Now, do you have a moment to speak with me? Well, apparently. We don't get an option. <laughs> sure, certainly. But what is it? Your victory proves that you two are top class breeders. Oh, yeah. And your search in the jungle is proof that you are excellent investigators. Can we go back? And so, I have a very important favor that I would like to ask of you. If it's alright, of course. No, we just wanted to talk. We don't want any... We, we don't, want, no we don't even want you to ask us. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. Well, sure. Sounds awfully important. <laughs> your character doesn't agree with us. Yes, well, we at FEMBA sent an investigative team out to the Kalaragi jungle. That wasn't us. Jungle. But they oh. haven't returned. Oh, no. What? Are they lost? <gasps> lost? By definition. Is that the only concern you have? Is that they're lost? By definition, we've lost them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. But some breeders who have gone exploring have not come back as well. So we want you to go oh. after them. <laughs> Maybe. <I> don't. <laughs> we don't mind if you get lost, too. We just don't want to get lost. <laughs> All the good ones are gone, so we're sending you in now. <laughs> Tanya needs a hero, not dead parents. <laughs> and so I wish to rely on you with your skills. Find out what's going on out there. Wow, he's angry at us about it now. He's excited. Understood. I'll go check on things and report back. Excellent. You're a great help. You know it. Oh, you can't stop yawning. Okay, well, I don't want this to be a super short video, so I guess we'll do at least one fight. Other fight. And I will save in just a moment, don't worry. Other fight. Um, it's actually, you know what? I haven't actually looked at their stats in a little while. Let's check them out. But it's not serious time. Okay, enough. I'm sorry I said it. <laughs> you're like, you're like Helper. It's like he keeps screaming, "More dots, more dots!" And I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> that um, seriously, that was a great quote from like ten years ago. No, it's funny, but it gets annoying when we do like four raids in a row in one day and keep screaming, "More dots, more dots!" on every fight. It's like, okay, it was funny like three raids ago. It's it's funny when um, you're talking about Anixia. Otherwise, it's not so funny. Yeah, we were. Anyways, um. Okay, he might have enough speed, but nah, he can use more. Um, Kalb. Life. Power. Well, the problem is, let's give him more power for now. Um, and then I wanted to get 200 with Gary. Yeah. Just so we wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. Um, more defense and more intelligence. Okay, so pretty much the same as what we were doing. Pretty much. Oh, but they're gonna rest. Okay. Saved just in case. 
We have seen the game crash when feeding a monster. Unfortunately so. But so far it hasn't crashed today, so I'm expecting it not to crash at all. No, it did crash one time. Did it today? Yeah, it did. When we were doing the CDs, we had to redo a couple. Hell yeah, I forgot about that. But that's it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. Yeah. There's no... That's not gonna work. Well, same thing with Puddin'. Puddin' was 48%. Yeah, I know, but... It just carries with so Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. I remember one time. Look, Calv, you actually you get praised today. You're the only one who gets praised today. Well, of the people who did something. Besides Baron, that. Baron. You get a carrot. Baron, yeah. Baron. I was about to tell an embarrassing story about percentages, but then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't. It's, if it's embarrassing, why would you? <laughs> I was gonna hold off on telling you actually, because it was gonna be embarrassing for you too. Oh, yeah, I don't wanna know. Oh, wait. It was the time I guessed our test scores correctly. Yeah, no, I don't wanna talk about that. <laughs> I've already given away enough information. Speaking of funny stories or embarrassing moments, um. Uh, on my team at work. Oh, this seems okay. This one put needs a scold. Put needs a scold. Um, I have two new members on my team, and they've only been here for a few, months, a couple months, if even that. And so they were talking about they were afraid of messing up the database by doing something silly. Sorry, I knew I needed to feed somebody, but I couldn't remember who. And I was telling them, I was jokingly saying, "Well, eventually you're gonna have to screw something up because it's just like a rite of passage. That you're gonna have to bring the database down, or or do something so bad that we're all gonna just shut everything down and revert it." And I'm like, "Don't worry, it'll always happen." And and I don't remember. Helper Helper was in the room, and he made a joke that he he's like, "Just do it now because it'll be easier in in the future. Just make a huge mistake now." And they're like, "Can we just not make the huge mistake?" And I'm like, "No, you don't get that option. It will happen." <laughs> <laughs> and I was going through the list of everyone's huge mistake, and and they were laughing at mine. And I was like, "Hey, I was new <laughs> at the time." Yeah, pretty much what I did was um, I thought it would be totally awesome. Obviously, I didn't do this on purpose. But I thought it'd be cool that when the user saved the data, it would convert the data from one type of information to a completely different type of information when they saved it. Sounds cool. Um, it was totally not cool because that was way back when, and um, we actually had to shut down the in entire thing. And it's an internet-based program, so we had to shut it all down and uh, do this massive database revert. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, I'm not coming back tomorrow, am I? <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, the, the worst one I've had so far was... I was put in charge of a, a part of a project that was supposed to take me about a month. And after about um, three weeks or so, I let my, best, my, my boss know, Hey, it's, uh, it's kind of behind schedule by a little bit, and I'm not really sure why or how much, but it seems like this is bigger than we realized. <laughs> and uh, and so we kind of kept going. You know, we thought, well, it'll be like an extra week or so, maybe. So about that extra week was almost done. And we were just doing some final checks on it, just some final, final checks on it. And I was in a different part of the program entirely, checking something else unrelated. And I realized, hey, this looks like it might use that same bit of code from the, that we've been working on this last month, over in this other part. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went back to our client and said, hey, are those are those things tied together? And he's like, oh yeah, those are tied together. Didn't, didn't I tell you that in, like when we designed this thing? And I was like, no. no. <laughs> and uh, he's like, oh, well, does that impact anything? I'm like, it impacts everything. It means we need to... <laughs> means that now we need to completely redo this section too, <laughs> is what it means, because now it's relying on that thing that we've changed. Yeah, real quick, we got the fish here. It's a sea bream, rare in the seas of Toggle. Nice monster treat. It's a rare fish. Let's feed it to him. Cool. But yeah, that that one month thing turned into a two month thing, turned into a four month thing. I bet your customers love that. Then it got my then I got my boss involved in it because he had to get involved as well as me to get it done in four months. That was not fun at all. That was not good. Okay. Does anyone else need food? No, we're all good. Okay. And I believe Gary has a fight. Yes, the official grade D. 
And no, I haven't forgotten about um, Grey Mangalian's fights. Um, I don't know if they're ready for a fight, especially since I really, really wanted to get them to the jungle first. Yeah. They could use some more moves first. Yeah, I really want them to have more moves. I think after all this intelligence training, I think Galleon's going to be okay. But the problem with having a defensive monster is getting them going on their own. Although, you know, actually now I think about it, it'd probably be really smart of me to find a rank E tag battle to put them in together. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. And into the defensive, yeah. Well, that was quick. Yeah! Torero! Sombrero. I love that name. Has to like third. <laughs> yeah. At least his name's not all that misleading. Because he actually has a hat. A sombrero. I was like, what? I was thinking you were talking about third. I know. I was like, what? <laughs> what does that do with hats? Oh, his. Well, I was looking at his hit rate and it went down a little bit, but not by a lot, you hmm. know. Oh, crud. Okay, that's all the guts I had. Okay, I really need to get it out of way of dig. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Um, I really want to do. Storm Shot might kill him. Um, crumb muffins. Uh, I could try countering him next time with circle, but the problem is my life isn't that great. Oh, okay. Oh, crud. Was I gonna be right? Was it? Oh, square. I would have been wrong. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep trying with storm shot for now. Because it takes a lot less guts. I'm afraid by the time I finally got enough guts to actually do Ice Beam again, that either A, he's going to have already hit me, or B, the fight will be over. Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to go slap him. You won't see a square coming. Ha! I don't think he did. That's You know, I love it when you take sentences out of context. I bet he won't see that square coming. <laughs> Yeah, I must be too tired. I'm laughing at my own joke. But it was a funny one. I think. I'm kind of tired, too. Yeah. It's getting late at night. We, we, we've been looking for more edu edutainment games to play, folks. Well, yeah, but the other reason... Uh, we're trying to record... We're trying to catch up on our recordings, too. So, I mean, we've done, like, what, four or five today? Yeah, this will be the fifth one today. Which means that we've done, like, 50% as many as we already had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did absolutely nothing all day today. I just played World of Warcraft and this. This is all I did. I didn't do any chores. I didn't leave the house. Didn't do anything. I haven't gotten gotten the mail awesome. yet. I was gonna say, yeah, so far it's talk to my parents and recordings. And I ate some food in between and so Wait, so does that mean you actually woke up at two PM? Maybe. <laughs> well okay, so okay, so you sent me a text this message. This is part Ogio, by the way. Yes, it is. You sent me a text message this morning at like 10.30 or something, and uh, which yeah. was fine. Well, anyway, I've been using this app on my phone though, recently to monitor my sleep. Block text. No, no, it's a, it's not, it monitors my sleep. And so, like, it sits in the bed with, like, the phone sits in the bed with me and, like, keeps track of, like, my motion and stuff during the night. And so, weird. Well, I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was neat to kind of track my... No, I, I'm not saying weird in a bad way. I just never really thought about it. It, Anyways. It, it's also nice, though, because like I have erratic sleep patterns anyway, and so it's like, okay, I'd like to start getting an idea of just how erratic my sleep patterns are anyway. You know? Like, right now, I think my average, uh, sleep, average good time anyways, to like, go to sleep moving is... moving on with your story. Oh, well, anyways. Long story short is that that app was running at the time that you texted me, um, uh -huh. and so it was in the foreground. So your text came in, and then it probably just immediately went away, as if I'd read it. Ah. Uh. And so whenever I got done with the app and I woke up at about, like, 11 or so... I pull my phone out, I check my notification screen, don't see any texts have come in because, hey, apparently I was on, or I had the phone open whenever that one came in. And uh, and so I was like, oh, I guess I guess she hasn't contacted me yet. I guess she's not ready to record yet. So I was like, okay, I'll go back <laughs> to sleep. 
Went back to sleep, woke up about <laughs> 1 o'clock, checked again, didn't see anything new. Went back to sleep again. <laughs> woke up about 2 o'clock, and finally I went, like, went out to my home screen on my phone. I'm like, oh wait, there's a, there's a text I haven't read. Where did that come from? <laughs> and did you look at the timestamp? Yeah. You're like, oh. Yeah, and I was like, oops. <laughs> If I'd seen that, yeah, I was up earlier, but I was like, oh, I guess she hasn't, she's not ready, so I guess I'll just well, keep Well, it's sleeping. funny, because I know you get up late, but I thought, you know, I was like, he's been getting up earlier for, like, parties and stuff. Maybe he's awake, and then he didn't answer me. Nope, he's asleep. Parties. And it was funny, because, like, then Helper came over, and he had lunch, and, like, as soon as we sat down, I was like, what do you want to, did you want to play WoW? And then he's like, I don't know. And then, of course, an icon, like, immediately buzzes in. He's like, no, I'm going to change your plans. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was. Well, I was like, uh, I thought she was going to contact me early in the morning because <laughs> I was like, I was like, we. I thought we had plans to do recordings all day Saturday. And I waited all the way till eleven a.m. my time too. Yeah, and so I was actually surprised that I didn't see one from you. I was like, oh, I guess she's not ready yet or something. <laughs> because you told me that you sounded like you wanted to record like literally all day. So I was game. Okay, for Okay, so we um just beat the official D with Gary. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes, and that's the this is the farthest I've ever gotten a Nogio, so that's actually like an achievement for me. And okay, um, I don't think he has anything new because the way it works is we have to find these gadgets, and a good chunk of them are in the jungle, which is why I was kind of cheesy that I couldn't go earlier. I don't think he's got any effect, yeah. Um, and we don't have anything to appraise. He's angry, and then there's nothing to customize, so goodbye. Okay, um... So let's check out our calendar now. So now we're B rank. Okay, yeah, so now we can go to the jungle. So we have a group battle here. So this is three on three. Uh, we don't have enough... We could go here and bring Puddin... Oh wait, well, let's bring Puddin? Why not? I thought it would let me do that. I guess not. Um, okay, I guess we're not doing that then. For some reason, I thought you could. Anyways, uh, so we could go to a, a B rank, but I really don't want to right now. We could send Calb to a C rank. Or we could try fighting with Graham and Galleon. Um, yeah, the next tag battle isn't until October, unfortunately. And it's currently... Yeah. February. F February. Or no, it's March. Wait. February. No, sorry, February. I read third year. Um, I guess we could try going to a E rank with Galleon. I think he might do better. Um And then we could take Graham to this one. Although, let me think about that for a minute. That'd be giving us nothing to do this week. So what we could do is rest. Um, okay, because it doesn't really matter how tired they are for the thing, but we can bring Puddin... Um, Graham and Galleon, and we'll do an adventure this we this coming weekend. We'll go back to the jungle with them, not to go find the the missing people. Not that you know they're not important, but we'll do a couple floors and just level them up to try to give them some moves and stuff. So we'll see you guys in the next video when we go to the jungle with Graham and Galleon. Bye for now. Bye guys.